Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we're looking at my 4L60E transmission, E for electronic shift solenoids. Um, this is out of my 01 Tahoe. Uh, it's got more problems than just shift solenoids. If you're watching my video, make sure you comment below with what's the year, make, model, and engine size of the vehicle you're working on, or hopefully this helps you on. Make sure you comment that below to help others in their situation if they have the same vehicle. Let them know, yeah, it works on this one too. So make sure you comment in the comments. Uh, if you need any of the parts or tools shown in the video, there'll be a link in the description below, below to buy those, such as test leads, hopefully a cheap DVOM meter, Uh, you will need a 9 volt battery, maybe I'll put a link to that too, I don't know if those are expensive to ship or not, um, and shift solenoids will be there too. But let's go ahead and test this out, your shift solenoids out, and see what the conclusion is. Like, subscribe, share, comment below, let's get going. Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we're looking at this 4L60E, E for the electronic shift solenoids. Um, I get a lot of hits, views, questions about these shift solenoids, when they go bad, what to do, how to replace them, uh, etc. These shift solenoids do go bad, but not as often as most people think and end up replacing these and wasting your money. If you do end up buying them or want to buy them, make sure you replace them with AC Delco uh, shift solenoids. You'll have problems, trust me. Uh, and there will be a link in the description below if you need to buy them. And if you buy them through there, it shoots me a couple bucks too. So uh, also like, subscribe, and share while we're doing this. So if you suspect your shift solenoid is bad, don't just run off and buy new ones and replace them. Try to test them first if you have the time and the capabilities for the abilities. Uh, your one, two accumulators could be bad. Uh, you could have stuck shift valves. You could have more problems. So let's verify that these are bad real fast. First, I'm going to electronically disconnect them from the wiring harness. There we go. We're going to do a clicking test to see if uh, 9 volts opens it first. That'll be the first test. So 9 volt battery you'll need. You're going to need some uh, test leads. Let's go ahead and pick We'll use red and green. Doesn't matter which side. You might have to probe yours from uh, your harness side. I don't know if they all have these prongs, but you could access to the harness side too. It's a little bit more difficult, but uh, for video's sake, this we'll do the easy route. Red and blue. Going to just connect it to the nine volt battery doesn't matter positive or negative and you just listen for a clicking sound try that one more time I'll get you a little bit closer all right so we heard this one clicking let's go ahead and test the next one Perfect. Grab our battery. Perfect. They both pass the 9 volt battery test. If you need leads, those, or I'll have a link in the description below to buy those probably cheaply. Um, that. Next, you're going to need a DVOM. We're going to check the ohms of resistance on your connections. Get your uh, meter to ohms of resistance set it so you can see it but not be in the way hopefully you could see that got my test leads let's see what we come up with 21.5 the specifications of ohms of resistance on these shift solenoids is 20 to 30 ohms so this one is good most of them test in the lower 20s. I would say more specifically the 20 to 25 ohm range of resistance is better, but specification from what I've seen is 20 to 30. 
I will go a little more specific and recommend 20 to 25. Let's test this next one. Twenty-one point seven. Twenty-one point seven ohms of resistance. So, in this case, this transmission isn't shifting out of second. This one is ended up being bad clutch packs. The two three, sorry, the three four clutch packs were bad because there was a check ball inside of the accumulator on the side uh, that needed to be replaced, it was leaking, which caused the three, four clutches to go bad uh, and kept it running in first and second gear. So it was not the shift cylinders in this situation. Make sure you diagnose everything. Don't always assume what you think is bad before you start your diagnosis. Um, but hopefully this helps you out on your DIY or your repair. Remember to like, subscribe, and share and check out the links in the description below and make sure you comment to let us know what we're helping you out. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and share.